Hey, I'd like to walk you quickly through how to set up the detector in Transgressor. The detector section is this gray area over here. And what it does is it determines what is a transient and what is not. The easiest way to set this up is to first press this listen button. It will let us hear what the transient detector is listening for. In this case, it's a kick drum. There are two different filter types. There is a high pass and low pass filter, and there is a band pass filter. Each of these can be used to narrow in on a certain frequency range uh, to help cut out bleed and other artifacts. You can also bypass this filter altogether by pressing this. So let's listen to what we're working with here. Okay, so we're not listening to the process sound, we're listening just to the detector. So if we turn on this bandpass filter and we set up this frequency. We can narrow in exactly where the kick drum is most likely to have transients. In this case, it sounds like it's about right there. Now, one thing to note that as you bring this frequency down lower, as you're detecting low frequencies in the transients, it helps to bring up the look ahead time because low frequencies by nature have slower transients. And so having that look ahead time will let it kick in as the transient starts rather than after it's reached the top. So now it's time to set up our threshold and retrigger. One of the ways I like to really do it is to bypass this listen and bypass the sustain. Now this will sound awkward, but we just want to make sure that the detector is really getting all the transients and not missing any and not having any other artifacts that we don't want to hear. So let's listen to what we have now. Next thing we want to do is make sure we have this retrigger set up correctly. If I have that on very short, you'll notice right away that that is not desirable uh, in this case. What it's doing is it's detecting, it's telling it how long it is going to look for a transient again after one has hit. If it's too short, it's just constantly looking for them, and that's why it's constantly going off. If I bring it up too high, it will miss some. So usually what I like to do is to start down here and just bring it up until it sounds good. In this case, it's about right there. It's hitting all the drums and it's not doing any weird false triggers. And that's all you have to do to set up your detector. Once you do that, then you can go back to here and start processing your sound however you'd like. Thanks for watching.